Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Nar, the missing link. Nar is a prehistoric yurtle with a soft, cuddly face and a terrifying temper. After being trapped in true ice, Nar became frozen in time until his prison finally weakened enough for him to break free. In game, Nar is a volatile top lane champion who cycles between speedy ranged mini Nar and tanky monstrous mega Nar. Mini Nar is a sprightly little guy thanks to his passive, which gives him bonus movement speed, attack speed, and range. However, he's also got a temper, Rage Gene. With it, Mininar generates rage whenever he's in combat, gaining bonus rage whenever he deals damage. Once Nar fills his bar, he becomes aggravated, transforming after a few seconds, or on his next ability cast, into a terrifying monster, Meganar. Meganar gains bonus health, armor, magic resist, and attack damage, but loses his mini form's bonus movement speed, attack speed, and range. After transforming, the Rage Bar slowly drains, and he transforms back into Mini Nar once it's empty. Finally, once he's back in Mini Form, Nar can't gain Rage for a while. He's tired. Mini Nar's Q is Boomerang Throw, which serves as his primary damage and harass ability. Nar throws out his Boomerang in a straight line skill shot, dealing damage to the first enemy struck before slowing and returning toward Nar. Boomerang Throw deals reduced damage to all enemies struck after the first, and it can't hit the same target twice. Once the Boomerang turns, it travels back towards wherever Nar is heading. If he catches it, Nar significantly reduces the ability's cooldown, which is absurdly long otherwise. Boomerang Throw is a great tool for last hitting and harassing your lane opponent from range. Up next is Mini Nar's W, Hyper. Nar passively applies stacks of Hyper with his basic attacks and abilities. Stacking Hyper three times in the same target deals bonus magic damage based on the target's max health and grants Nar a huge but temporary movement speed boost. Nar can apply stacks of Hyper to multiple targets simultaneously and trigger the stack to refresh his speed boost. Additionally, Hyper speed boost automatically triggers when transforming back to Mini Nar. Trigger Hyper as often as you can during laning to win trades and keep away from your opponent. Nar's E is Hop. When activated, Nar skips a short distance to a target location, gaining an attack speed boost for a few seconds. If Nar hops on a unit, he bounces, continuing in the same direction, applying a slow and dealing damage based on his max health if he bounces on an enemy. Note that when he hops into a cluster of enemies, Nar only damages the target closest to his landing spot, and that if he's stunned, snared, or rooted during his initial hop, he won't bounce at all. Hop is really useful for juking enemies through the jungle by bouncing through neutral camps. Here are a few examples of hoppable spots. Save Hop to escape from jungle ganks. It's awesome. Nar's ultimate is Nar. As mini Nar, it only functions as a passive, giving him even more movement speed whenever he triggers Hyper. In mega form, Nar's Q swaps out his boomerang for a big freaking boulder or in some cases, a house. Boulder Toss is a straight line skill shot that stops the first target struck, slowing and damaging all nearby enemies. Once the boulder's landed, Nar can lumber over to it and pick it up to drastically lower its cooldown. Use Boulder Toss when chasing an enemy. You'll pick it up as you make your pursuit, giving you multiple opportunities to throw it again for extra slows and damage. Unlike Mini Nar, Mega Nar has an active W, Wallop. After a brief windup, Nar smashes his massive paws into the ground, damaging and stunning all enemies in front of him. Mega Nar wallops so hard that he can't be interrupted by stuns during the windup. Since Mini Nar has no active W, Wallop is always available when Nar needs to transform. Use it for a surprise transformation when your other abilities are down. Mega Nar isn't quite as bouncy as Mini Nar, so while the latter hops, Mega Nar just crunches. Crunch is another short leap to a target location, only this time Mega Nar lands with a bang, slowing and literally dealing tons of damage to everybody near his landing site. Note that if you fill your rage bar as Mininar before hopping onto a target, 
You'll bounce off them, transform during the second leap, then crunch as you land. Use crunch to dive into team fights. Mega Nar has limited mobility, making crunch the most effective way to get into the thick of a fight. Finally, Mega Nar's ultimate is Nar, a huge ability that throws all nearby enemies in a targeted direction, damaging and slowing them. If Nar throws an enemy into a wall, including turrets and jungle walls, they'll take increased damage and be stunned. Use Nar to disable as many enemies as you can during big team fights. It's especially effective in closed off areas like the jungle and barren pit. Nar is the only champion in League of Legends whose transform you can't directly control. Demaglio! When facing a team fight, you'll play differently depending on which form you're in or about to be in. Here are some quick combos to help you crunch into and hop out of fights. If you're about to become Mega Nar, here's your typical game plan for initiating on a team fight. As Mini Nar, first keep your distance. As you're about to transform, get in position to hop in. Find a bouncy target and use E to catapult yourself into the enemy team. Once there, use NAR to shove enemy champions toward the nearest wall or obstacle. Follow up with Wallop on any stunned targets before throwing a house. Party. While Mega NAR's got the health and resistances to take a pummeling, Mini NAR's just a fragile little Teemo in comparison and needs range to survive. If you're already fighting as Mega NAR, use Wallop just before turning Mini, taking advantage of Hyper's speed boost to gain some distance as you throw out a boomerang toward your pursuing enemies. Save hop for emergencies, focusing on attacking and queuing to whittle your opponents down from range. When laning with Mini Nar, use your range to your advantage. Trade with your boomerang and basic attacks to trigger hyper and bully your opponent so you can farm safely. Mega Nar lanes very differently. His AoE abilities give him great wave clear for shoving the lane. Just keep an eye out for ganks, because he's way less mobile in this form. Past level 6, Meganar can also chain his abilities together to keep his enemies stunned and slowed. Leading in with Wallop, he uses the stun to land his ultimate and combos Boulder Toss with Ignite for surprising burst damage. Nar has the potential to turn around fights by using his transformations effectively. Though he's outnumbered and low on health, Nar uses Skarner as a springboard to burst down Syndra with his Mega combo. Note that Nar has great burst, but lacks the sustained damage to continue fighting Skarner. He instead uses Boulder Toss and Wallop to stall for time, knowing that once his Rage Bar depletes, he'll get Hyper's speed boost as he transforms back into Mini Nar, at which point he's pretty much uncatchable. Keep in mind that Nar can hop over small walls to engage in fights. Note that by catching his boomerang with every throw, Mini Nar is able to deal better sustained damage and, since his abilities share the same cooldown between forms, have his boulder toss ready for when he goes mega. Nar has excellent positioning here, able to shove Lucian into the turret with his ultimate, lock him up with Wallop for the quadra kill. Thanks for tuning in to the Nar Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video.